Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled An Irresistible Influence, August 20th. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. Colossians 3.12 Kind words, pleasant looks, a cheerful countenance, throw a charm around the Christian that makes his influence almost irresistible. This is a way to gain respect and extend the sphere of usefulness which costs but little. It is the religion of Christ in the heart that causes the words issuing therefrom to be gentle and the demeanor condescending, even to those in the humblest walks of life. A blustering, fault-finding, overbearing man is not a Christian, for to be a Christian is to be Christ-like. He who drinks in the Spirit of Christ will let it flow forth in kind words and be expressed in courteous deportment. The plan of salvation is to soften whatever is harsh and rough in the temper and to smooth off whatever is rugged or sharp in the manners. External change will testify to an internal change. The truth is the sanctifier, the refiner. Received into the heart, it works with hidden power, transforming the receiver. But those who profess the truth and at the same time are rough and sour and unkind in words and deportment have not learned of Jesus. All these manifestations show that they are yet servants of the wicked one. No man can be a Christian without having the Spirit of Christ, manifesting meekness, gentleness, and refinement of manners. Pleasant, kind, and well-bred Christians will have an influence for God and His truth. It cannot be otherwise. The light borrowed from heaven will shed its brightening rays through them to the pathway of others. The words we speak, our daily deportment, are the fruit growing upon the tree. If the fruit is sour and unpalatable, the rootlets of that tree are not drawing nourishment from a pure source. If our affections are brought into harmony with our Saviour, if our characters are meek and lowly, we evidence that our life is hid with Christ in God, and we shall leave behind us a bright track. Beholders will discern that we have been with Jesus and learned of Him. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.